Landry. Touchdown, Titan. Got it. Harold Landry. Who got it? Was it Landry? He got it. Intercepted it on a deflection. Henry, 20. Henry, 15. Henry, 10. To the end zone. Touchdown. Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I'm Lance Smith. You wanted to say it. This is Eddie George, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. So, in case you're wondering why uh, Eddie and myself are dressed this way, this is our uh, a salute to service show or Titans Blitz show because this weekend, this game. Brought to you by Cooper Steel is our salute to service yeah. game. And this audience right here, we've got veterans and active duty military and all season ticket holders. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for being here, uh, but thank you for where you've been and what you've done. Yes. That, more importantly, oh my God, it is such an honor to have you here uh, in this game. This game's gonna be exciting. Yeah, we, we, we need y'all, by the way. Loud yeah. in the stadium this week to, to make it happen for There's us. There's a lot going yeah. on. Of course, we're honoring our military with our Cooper Steel salute to service. Mm -hmm. uh, Trace Atkins singing the national oh, anthem. Wow. Billy Ray Cyrus along with the Voices of Service uh, at halftime. Mm. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be yeah. awesome. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's kick off this show and, uh, and do what we do. Eddie, we've got to do a little four downs with you here, brother. Yeah, yeah we do. We've got to talk about this game. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we, we do. do. But, you know, it's not as bad as you think. When you, when you, when you pop on the film the next uh -huh. day after a loss, it's not as bad as you thought it was. And when you pop on a win uh, after mm -hmm. a win, it, but sure. a win, it's not as good as you thought. And this is one of those cases. All and right. um, well, I, we'll talk about that. First down says it all. It's about this slow start. You know what? It's, it's not, they're, not, um, they're not an inept offense mm -hmm. to the point where – they can't run the football. They can't throw the football. Right, right, right. They're shooting themselves in the foot. That's the frustrating it's thing. It's the frustrating part about it. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's momentum killers. It's penalties. It's, it's uh, not converting on first downs. Yeah. It's, it's all of those things. It's not finishing, executing the drop. I mean, suck up, suck, he, he struggled right. during the course of that game. Missed the, the field goal. That's a momentum killer. Yeah. On the road, that's something that you need to get going. Yeah. This team is so close to being really, really good. Right. Loaded with being, talent. Loaded with talent. Being consistent, and you just, you just got to be disciplined to the point where you can't afford to have those mistakes anywhere, but especially on the road, in terms of getting that momentum. Fourth time this season we've been shut out in the first half. Right. That's but it's frustrating. Not, but it's not to the point where we have no offense. Right. We can't figure it out. We can't, we're able to move the football. Yeah. We're capable of doing that. And I think Tannehill, he showed that he can, if he gets behind schedule, mm -hmm. like he can complete the third and long pass. You can't make it third and 21. Right. Can't be third and 17. You got to make it manageable for him. And I think he's showing that he's capable of doing it, running the football and throwing the football. He threw some nice strikes yeah. to get us back into a manageable th uh, third and fourth down situation. Well, the guy that really sort of brought it all back around was in that second half. Uh, Derrick Henry's second half was incredible. Got us yeah. back in this game, especially the uh, the opening drive of the second half. Yeah, he touched yeah, it seven yeah. times. You know, put and, it in the end zone. And, and earlier this week, I made a comment that I didn't know the Titans' commitment to Derrick Henry, but after watching the tape, the, the Titans got off schedule in the first half to where they really couldn't feed feed him and feature him like he needed to. Right. But when we see when he gets the football, when they gave it to him seven straight times. You got to let the big dog eat, man. Right. And if he eats, he's hungry. He's hungry for more. He, he can wear more. you down. Yeah. But unfortunately, the Titans uh, they had to build into a 17-point deficit and couldn't get on schedule again. And that's what we saw. He couldn't wear on a defense because they got behind. They had to throw a ball, the ball a little bit more. Yeah. And the Titans, quite frankly, they were not disciplined enough offensively to overcome yeah. that deficit. To me, it says a lot, though, when you got a guy like that getting the ball, the defense knows he's getting the ball, and he's still running yes. it down their throat. Yes. He's running a lot harder and a lot angrier this season 
than I've seen him in the past. You know, year. Um, for a lot of reasons. Yeah. I think Derek, you know, contract year, yeah, I know, of course, he wants to get the big money, but I think he wants to leave his mark on the game. Yeah. You know, he wants to leave his mark and be one of the great running backs in this league, much like Ezekiel Elliott, a Todd Gurley, yeah. a Christian McCaffrey. He wants to be consistent, and that's what we're seeing out of Derek Henry right now. Another guy that's uh, leaving his mark on the game, Mr. Harold Landry uh, had a big day. Mm -hmm. Here we are on third down. Landry had a big day, uh, had a sack, a couple uh, tackles for loss, interception. Uh, he's got six sacks for the season, uh, and, and he's a real game disruptor, even if he's not, his name's not getting called in the play. He's wreaking havoc in that backfield. Listen, this defense is full yeah. of playmakers, right. whether it's Landry mm -hmm. or it's um, Simmons, Simmons who, whomever. They have a playmaker on every level of the defense, whether mm -hmm. it's the defensive line, linebackers, and secondary, mm -hmm. and they're capable. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we, the, the problem is, is that they're on the field a little too long, right. and you're going to give up big plays. Because that's how it is. You're out in the field a long time, and you're tired. You're going to wear down easily. Got to shut it down. These guys yeah. play well together. Yeah. Uh, real quick, uh, last uh, fourth down. Uh, we talked about it last week. We said you got to shut him down. He had 166 all-purpose well, yards. Well, we can't shut him down. Christian McCaffrey's good. Slow him down. Yeah. I mean, look, this guy is probably the leading MVP candidate in the NFL right now for obvious reasons. I mean, he is a breakaway threat on wheels. He reminds me so of Ladanian Tomlinson. Yeah. He's having that type of uh, year when, it, when he won it in 2001, I believe. Ladanian Tomlinson won the MVP award. Yeah. I mean, he's just so explosive. You get him in space, you get him the ball in, 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 uh, um, uh, in the passing game, uh, whether it's screens, running the football. He runs a, a beautiful short side sweep into right. the boundary, which is tough to defend. This yeah. guy's coming downhill right now. He's tough in between the tackles. He's able to break away runs. Start, as well. stop, speed, super oh, fast. Yes. I mean, he's the closest thing to what we've seen in terms of Barry Sanders in a long time. That's that's high praise. Yes. It says a lot, and he's yes. putting it on tape. You've oh, seen absolutely. it. All right, we've got a lot more to talk about on the show here, but you know, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. So with that, we go to break with our guy, Co Fast 15. But stick around, Titans Blitz will be right back, right? Yeah. <laughs> The Heat has the ball tipped. It's up in the air, and I think the Titans intercepted it on a deflection. Gives it to Henry at right guard. Henry to the five, to the end zone. Tannehill screens it right side. Henry, 20. Henry, 15. Henry, 10. Henry, 5. Henry, end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I'm Lance, he's Eddie. It is now halftime here on the show. And uh, we have uh, members of our military here in the house, also season ticket members. They are both. Uh, and uh, recently we had a special breakfast here at Nissan Stadium. Uh, veterans who are also season ticket members. We gave them a little breakfast and we mm. surprised two special uh, season ticket members with just the most awesome, awesome oh, gift. Wow. Check this out. Today, we're having as part of our annual salute to service celebration, we're honoring veterans with breakfast this morning at the Tennessee State Museum. We invited them here because they're our season ticket members and PSL holders, and we want to recognize their service and make sure they understand how deeply we appreciate their commitment to our country and the service that they've offered. If you are a veteran uh, or you are active in the military, would you please stand right now? We gave away two tickets to the Super Bowl that's going to take place in February in Miami to a couple that were guests here today. Thank you so much for your service and thank you for what you've done. And so on behalf of the Titans the National Football League, do you think you can find somebody to watch the kids the first weekend in February so you can go to Miami and see Super Bowl 54? Oh Kind of took us by surprise, just got caught up to the stage and won tickets to Miami for the Super Bowl. Apparently they're flying us and giving us a room and everything. I'm still kind of in shock, to be honest. We're going to the Super Bowl! <laughs> it's awesome to be recognized and they do a really good job taking care of us. This is definitely something I've wanted to do my entire life. And now I just need my Titans to go to the Super Bowl! Tighten up, baby! <laughs> And we have 
have John and Julia Bell in the house with us. You said you were a crier, John, and you are. It's true, but those are good tears. Good tears. I'm crying for you. Uh, what, a, what a gift that is. That's really Man. cool. Real quick, from a player's perspective, what does it mean? To, to play for these guys and, and have them in the house here. And oh, man. And well, first of all, thank you all for your service. Um, my father served in the military. My grandfather served in the military. Practically my whole family served yeah. uh, to some degree. So I appreciate the efforts that you put out there. So when we can have events like this where you can come in and spend time with us and we can play for you guys and show our little appreciation, it means so much. So we, we go out there, we grind for y'all, we try to fight for y'all, we try to leave, have you leave the stadium with smiles on your faces because you, you won the game. So it means a lot to us to give to y'all in that small capacity. So thank you very yeah, much for everything. Thank you so much. And uh, let's Absolutely. hope the Titans are there for John and Julia. <laughs> yeah. I just want to carry your bags. Can I carry your bags down to Miami? You sure? All right. All right. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, man. <laughs> All right. On the other side, we're going to talk about this game coming up. Kansas City Chiefs are coming to Nissan Stadium, and we got the keys to the victory. So stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It is now the two minute warning here on the show. So we got to talk about the keys to victory this Sunday here at Nissan Stadium against the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, again, uh, Cooper Steele's uh, salute to service game. We're honoring our military. They are here in house with us, veterans, active duty. What a game it's going to be. I oh, mentioned yeah. at the top of the show Trace Atkins doing the national anthem, Billy Ray Cyrus, voices of service at halftime. Going to be a big day. Oh, and there's also football to be played. Yeah, I know. Concert first. And uh, yeah, so first key, pressure the QB. Who's playing? Does it matter? I don't think, well, <laughs> it does matter now. Pat Mahomes is a grown man. Now. Yeah. He, when he's healthy, he's, not, he's the best in the league. But I'd rather have a gimpy Pat Mahomes mm -hmm. back there rather than a Matt Moore, because Matt Moore is very Moore's capable. He's been on fire. He's been on fire, man. And, and he's that offense still goes no matter who's under center. But I think if, we're, if Mahomes is in the game, we can try to get to him, pressure him, yeah. try to see where he's at mobility-wise, and try to get to him. I mean, the pressure on the quarterback is going to be key with a four-man rush is going to be very important. Listen, this, this is Matt Moore, by the way. This is the last game. Uh, pressured passer rating, 139.6. Deep passer rating, 149.3. This is best in the league. This is Matt Moore we're talking. So he was playing Mahomes-esque football. Yes, he is. So, yeah, but, uh, in his own I, way. In his own way. Mahomes did uh, practice in full today. So it's looking like it could be, it might be him. It doesn't matter. Got to get to him. Got to get to him. Regardless. Regardless. I think they're going to prepare as if it is going to be Matt Moore. If it's not, mm -hmm. I think they have uh, some tape on how to get to Pat, Pat Mahomes. I think yeah. the Titans have a good defense where they can slow him down, slow this offense down. Indy, Indy laid a good blueprint. Yes, um, all right, number two, get the offense back on track. We we're kind of talking about this in this yep. last game. They've got to be consistent and got to mm -hmm. keep these drives alive. Um, it starts with 22. Okay. I'm saying, you know what, Derek, the first 15 plays, Load up, get some water, get some IVs, because we're going we're gonna to ride you today. Yeah. And that's how I would approach this game. You know, start with number 22, get him on track, yeah. and let the offense just uh, morph outside of that. But mm -hmm. play action, and you get Tanny Hill involved, mm -hmm. because Tanny Hill is capable of making plays in yeah. his offense, both with his legs and his arm. Yeah. And we have the weapons to do it. So I, how I get on track is I, I start with number 22. Well, I like uh, I like keeping 22 on the field. I like keeping mm -hmm. our offense on the field because we got to keep their offense off the yes. field. We got to especially keep uh, Tyreek Hill. No doubt. Off the field, slow down. Hill is the third key. The man is fast, super fast. And you know what? I didn't. There's a clip. I mean, we may have it on here. Are where you talking about the Damian the running... Williams run? Yes. Let's go ahead and That's roll that Damian Williams that. That's touchdown. That's to stop all the nonsense. Run. Here you go, right here. So this is a 91-yard touchdown Ooh. run that you'd be like, ooh. Damian Williams, you're so fast. Oh, who's that catching up to you running at 22.64 miles per hour, the fastest of any player in Look two years? He made, That's Tyreek Hill just foot. trying to pat him on the butt. And passed him. Yeah, and passed him. On grass. Okay. <laughs> Do you know how fast you on grass passed him? Say, hey, just uh, this way. This way. This way. He just showed him up. Table, for, for, table for one, sir, in the end zone. Man, what? listen. I, that's the fastest man I've ever seen. I've, I've seen Dion play. Yeah. Daryl Green play. <laughs> Rod Woodson play. Uh, Joey Galloway. Awful. But that dude is a 
different speed like no other. He Chris is. Johnson, I mean, golly. It's super fast. Well, super uh, fast. if someone else is super fast, is this man right here, Mr. Eddie George. You got a plan to catch, sir. I got a plan to catch. Thank so. you for being here. <laughs> Eddie George, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your service. Thank you. We got more Titans Blitz on the other side. Eddie, we'll see you next week. All right, be good, man. More Titans Blitz. Be right back. He's still here in spirit. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Eddie really did have to catch a plane. Uh, so I got to ask you, we have a ton. Make some noise. How many fans do we have in here tonight? Yeah. That's my favorite sound in the world. I love our fan base. We have dedicated fans that come to every game. I've talked to fans at our home games that say they've never missed a game. They go to away games. How dedicated are you? Well, we asked that of one uh, special fan. And, uh, he filed this report. Let me tell you something. Joe is a big fan. Take a look. Anyone can be a fan. Choose a team and scream their heart out. But it takes loyalty, dedication, and fearlessness to venture into the heart of a storm. To stand up when you are outnumbered a thousand to one. These fans are the warriors on the ground that suffer the conditions of the battle. These fans, these fans bleed blue. Joe Lemming has been a fan since he was five years old. It was tradition for him and his dad to go to one game a year. In 2015, Joe brought an end to that tradition and bought him and his dad PSL tickets. But he doesn't only go to home games. He's been to 17 away games. You could say he travels well. His next stop was Carolina. Yeah, I mean, the stadium seats over 75,000 fans and pretty loud in there. And let me tell you, it's, it's rowdy in there. Something I gotta prepare myself for every game going into an away game is I just expect the absolute worst. We've got fans yelling at us all the time. We've had stuff thrown at us before, but we're here for the boys. We gotta support the two-tone blue. Guys, it's officially 2.45 a.m. Just got home from work about five hours ago. We gotta get up, get ready, to tighten up, head to the airport. We gotta fly out to Charlotte to go support the two-tone blue today, baby, bleed blue. Let's go, baby. Boarding on the plane, heading to Charlotte right now. Let's get it. Big game today. Officially made it here. Bank of America Stadium ready to take over. Trying to find some other Titans fans. Let's get this game day going. Let's go Titans. Now, never back down. When we're cheering on the Titans, we're loud from the first quarter all the way to the end of the fourth quarter. Win, lose, we are there for the boys, and we are loud and proud. Two-tone blue all day. Henry 15, Henry 10, Henry 5, Henry in zone. Touchdown, Titans! Let's go, Henry again, baby, let's go! No matter what, no matter how outnumbered I am when I'm at an away game, I'm always going to be loud. Can run this thing. Five, Tannehill, touchdown tight. Great run, Ryan Tannehill. Whole time, no matter what anybody's saying, you just gotta stay proud throughout the entire game for the boys. the fans Joe Lemming is here with us sir you're filling Eddie's seat for me thank you got some big shoes to fill huge <laughs> they're, they're enormous uh thank you for being such a fan How, did, would that make you nervous watch yourself on TV I'm still nervous I'm shaking <laughs> don't, be, don't be don't be don't uh, be greatest away fan experience that you've had as a Titans fan it's got to be Kansas City sub-zero temperatures Ryan suck up with no time left kicking that field goal I was sitting right behind the goal post for that uh, m breathtaking it was really crazy you just re crazy. replayed in your head just in slow motion the ball's coming to you yes. love it crazy scariest moment away any any worried moments with away fans worried moments had to be again Kansas City in the playoffs this time we were down big the first half and then you know the historic comeback with the Mariota pass to himself that right. was Terrifying environment. It's beautiful. 
Beautiful. Where do you sit in the stadium? Uh, nosebleeds, 326. And you're just loud as can be the whole yep. time. Mm -hmm. I love it. You gonna be loud this game? Oh yeah. Gotta, gotta bring week. it. Every week. This is big, big, big game on Sunday, guys. Uh, thank you to the military for being here, active duty and veterans. Thank you so much for what you do, for protecting us, for your sacrifice, for your service. It means the world to us. Uh, it means the world to me personally and to this organization. Uh, thanks to fans like uh, Joe here for bringing it and bringing the noise. Like I know you're going to this game right here. Let's start bringing some noise, y'all. We got to tighten up like we do. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you Sunday right here at Nissan Stadium. Cooper Steel, salute to service. We'll see you Sunday. Tighten up, y'all.